Hello, this is Dirk Morris with Untangle, and I'm going to be giving a brief demonstration of WebFilter, one of our most popular applications on Untangle. WebFilter is a web content control application that helps you monitor and control web traffic on your network. WebFilter has a huge database of over 450 million sites and real-time categorization, which make it extremely effective at controlling web traffic. I'm going to start by logging into Untangle. This assumes you've already got Untangle up and running on your network. Once logged into Untangle, you'll see the applications already installed over here in the center and a list of available applications over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to click on WebFilter. That's going to open up a page with more information about WebFilter. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to download the free trial, which is a fully functional WebFilter application that works for 14 days. Once you click on that, it's actually going to start downloading that application into your Untangle server. And once that completes, you'll see a new application over here in your virtual rack in the middle. At this point, WebFilter is actually installed and already filtering web traffic on your network. There's no need to change any of the configuration on any of the PCs behind Untangle or any of the other devices on the network. It's simply going to filter web traffic as it passes through the Untangle server. You can customize your settings by clicking on the Settings button, and that allows you to set up your web filtering policy for your network. Now, the most common thing you're probably going to do is click on Edit Categories, and then you can see all the different categories available. By default, some of them are already blocked pornography and sex, nudity sites, also some security-related categories like phishing and malware. By default, they're not allowed to go there. So if I opened up a new tab and went to playboy.com, instead of seeing playboy.com, I'm going to see a block page saying web filter. Not allowed to go there because it is in the pornography sex category, which was already blocked according to the policy. So here you can set up all the categories you want to block. Or if you don't want to block them, you can just flag them as a violation so that you can know about them. You can also set up rules for specific sites if you have problematic sites that you want to deal with. Just add a site here, and then of course, if a user on your network goes to that site, instead of being allowed to that site, they're going to see the block page with the reason that you specified. You can also set up rules for certain types of files, like MP3 downloads, any kind of downloads, MIME types or you can explicitly pass sites. This is useful for, say, if you want to block a category like social networking, but you want to allow LinkedIn, which is a business-related social networking site. You can block social networking, but then you can go over to the pass list and add LinkedIn.com, and that way it's still going to be allowed. You can also add certain IPs to the client pass list, and that allows them to bypass web filtering entirely. If you want some more complex policy management, you can install Policy Manager and actually set up completely separate web filters for different times a day, different users, different Active Directory groups, however you like, by setting up completely separate policies. A couple more advanced features, you can also enforce safe search on popular search engines. This makes sure that people searching on Google or Yahoo or Bing or any of the other search engines uh, won't find things that they're not supposed to find, because what it does is when they search, it actually enforces with the search engine that safe mode is on. Um, you can also allow bypassing of the block page if you want and password protect that as you want as well. Additionally, you can use WebFilter more as a monitoring tool to see what's going on in your network. You can do so in real time by going over here to the event log, hitting refresh, and here you can see the sites that we just tried, ESPN.com, Playboy.com, that were blocked, and who tried to access them, and where they were tried to access, and so on. In addition to that, there's also reports available if you install the reports application. I'm going to go to a different network and look at the reports, give you an idea of what's available on those. So if I click on the web filter application reports, I get all sorts of information about what's going on on my network. This is a daily report of a fairly small site, but you can see about 70,000 web hits yesterday. Um, some 2,000 violations, of which 60 violations were actually blocked. And here you can see an hourly graph of what web traffic usage looks like on your network. You know, obviously pretty slow at night, more active during the day, and you can see some violations here, different times. More information about total web usage, information about Top web user by host, so here's the top web users by hits and by size. Um, Active Directory users, if you're using Directory Connector, you can actually see it by username no matter what their IP is. Top categories of violations, here you can see most all the violations were actually social networking, um, but there were a couple malware, spyware sites that were blocked, a couple nudity sites, and an anonymizer site. All sorts of information available about what kind of traffic's on your network. You can also look at these specific violations if you want, drill down. You can export this data as well in CSV format, open it up in Excel, 
Here you can see a whole bunch of Facebook social networking violations, who did them, what time they did them, and so on. You can actually browse all events if you want. So if you actually want to save every single web hit that happened on your network, you can do so. Um, you can also look at site events. This is just the same data viewed by site, give you an idea of what's most common sites in your network by hits, by size. And you can scroll down and see all the different sites that are being accessed on this network and page through those. And again, you can export this data. If you find a specific user you want to dig more into, obviously top host violators here, you can see the, the top violator. Let's click on this guy. And actually what that'll do is generate a report for that specific user. So this is going to be the same report, but only for that user. Um, you can see this, this user didn't do anything at night, obviously arrived in the morning, did some web browsing throughout the day, and then later in the day had some violations. And you can scroll through the same report, but only for that user. And here you can see that user accessed some social networking sites, which on this network were flagged as a violation, but not actually blocked and also eight different hits to some malware site were blocked. And again, you can dig through all the same violation events, site events, and so on for that specific user only. You can see they were going to untangle.com, they did some searches on Google, they went to Facebook some, uh, they watched a YouTube video of about 40 megs, and just dig all this information out about what's going on with this user. So really this is meant to give you visibility and the tools you need to see what's going on with web usage on your network, and then react by tweaking your web policy back in the settings to make sure that people are using the, the internet for the appropriate thing in your organization. So to recap briefly, web filter is extremely effective. It has over 450 million sites already categorized. It also has dynamic categorization. So if you go to a site that's not ever been seen before, has no categorization in the database, it will actually talk to an internet service and categorize that site on the fly. So you're always up to date. Combine that with the monitoring reports available. WebFilter is an extremely effective tool at helping you really control web traffic on your network. Thank you for watching our demonstration.